My name is Caitlin Ziegler and I'm the Director of Education and Humanities at the Center. We are very excited to have this opportunity to come into classrooms and work with the teacher on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And it's even more exciting that this first project was a statistics class because this isn't the art classroom and we don't get to come into these classes generally and work with materials and manip manipulate materials so that um, students can get a chance to learn in a different way. We were lucky enough to come in and talk with Dr. Marsha Grabo, who um, teaches two classes of AP Statistics here at Wood River High School. And we were invited into her classroom to work with her and think about what she was teaching already in her class, which ended up being graphing. We decided to look at how artists take data or information and turn that into a visual representation. We worked with two classes separately to come up with a collaborative project that they chose the content that they were interested in. They chose what data they were then going to collect and how they were gonna come up with collecting the data. The first class decided they were really interested in sleep patterns amongst their peers and also in the use of technology that their peers have. So they broke up their questions into how many hours of sleep did you get last night? and how many hours of technology were you on the computer for? Um, or were you doing homework? How much technology use did you have? With the help of their teacher, Dr. Grabo, they went through and analyzed the data, and we found specific points that we could assign art pieces to. The materials that they wanted to use were photo transfer papers or photo, photo gels. They're colored papers that um, are clear, and there's a, if you have light behind them, it'll shine with the colors and they decided they wanted to suspend these from the ceiling with fishing line. Large pieces that represented um, a lot of hours of sleep or a lot of hours of technology use and small pieces that represented small amount of technology use, small amount of time slept. But then they decided that they were gonna use colors to differentiate, differentiate that even more. So the warm colors, red, yellow, oranges, were used to show technology use and the cool colors were used to show sleep patterns. With the second class, their project morphed a little bit over the last four visits that we've, um, that we've had with them. They decided that they wanted to really look at a, a topic that was going to be really meaningful to their peers, and so they decided to look at issues of bullying and acceptance and issues of drug use here in the high school and in the culture here. They decided to collect their data from freshmen. They took their questions that they had and they chose a random selection of freshmen and they asked these questions of the freshmen. Have you ever um, been bullied? Have you ever intervened? Do you feel accepted by your peers? Um, have you ever had to say no to drugs? And if you have had to say yes, was it hard? They came back with the data. They analyzed it. Their materials were yarn and they chose, again, warm and cool colors. So warm colors represented the students that felt accepted and cool colors represented the students that did not feel accepted. And they decided a percentage wise, roughly, of what that would be. They wanted to create the installation so that it represented a word. They used the word love and they showed us with yarn that they wove together um, roughly the percentage of students that felt loved and accepted and those that didn't. Coming up, we also are going to be working with a language arts teacher on what she's reading in her class and also with a science teacher here at the high school. So um, we're pretty excited to be welcomed into those non-art spaces to help these students get a new experience and look at something from a different perspective.